Health Solutions. Over the past few days, the Ministry of Health has noted an increase in COVID-19 cases and continues to prepare for the possible presence of the Omicron variant in our country. After much discussion and consultation between the Ministry of Health, the COVID-19 Management Center, and the Cabinet of Ministers, a decision on the COVID-19 protocols for the month of January was made. Cabinet has decided on the following protocols, which will take effect from Friday, January 7th, 2022, to Friday, February 4th, 2022. Confinement to residents during the week from Mondays to Thursdays will commence at 10 p.m. And on Fridays and Saturdays, confinement will commence at 9 p.m. On Sundays, confinement will be at 6 p.m. Educational institutions will continue to operate on a face-to-face -face basis and following the COVID-19 protocols. The Ministry of Education will continue to provide more information to the public. Additionally, as of Monday, January 10th, public omnibuses should not be loaded with more than 10 passengers. The public is reminded that mass crowd events, competitive or high contact sporting activities, including indoor and outdoor training and local competitions are not allowed at this time. However, a person can host or attend a social event or recreational activity that does not exceed 35 persons of his or her immediate family at his or her residence. In accordance with the Criminal Code Cap 3.01, no loud music will be permitted at a social event or recreational activity. A faith-based organization may hold a special religious ceremony, including baptisms, weddings, and funerals, only if there are no more than 100 people in attendance, and also providing that physical distancing guidelines are strictly observed. Beach picnics, river parties, and other public celebrations will not be allowed. These adjustments to the current protocols will be in place up to the fourth day of February 2022, as mentioned earlier. Fellow St. Lucians, all of this can come to naught if we choose to act irresponsibly and in the process hurt even those who are trying their best to slow the spread of COVID-19. These measures by themselves will not help us if we do not act with an urgent sense of purpose. We are being called once again to act as one country and as one loving family in the best interest of ourselves and our families. The government of St. Lucia asks for the cooperation of everyone in following the COVID-19 protocols and working together to fight this COVID-19 pandemic. Get vaccinated. Encourage family and friends to be vaccinated and be a leader in your communities in the efforts of our health officials to stop the spread of COVID-19. I thank you very much.